Uh, welcome to Coffee with Job for Wednesday morning. I'm uh, here in my very plain office because it's absolutely chucking it down outside. Everyone I meet keeps saying, oh, you'll be used to this, you'll be glad of this because it's Scottish weather, uh, which it isn't. Well, sometimes. And I want to begin with an apology because, as some of you pointed out, I went straight from chapter 38 to chapter 40. Um, we did not do chapter 39. So we're going to amend that today and we're going to turn to Job chapter 39. And actually, again, it's one of these chapters that you look at and you go, yeah, 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 it's all about animals. That, yeah, you know, let's just get it over and done with. Um, and I think there's there's much more to it than this. So let me just uh, read verses one to four. This is God speaking. Do you know when the mountain goats give birth? Do you watch when the doe bears her fawn? Do you count the months till they bear? Do you know the time they give birth? They crouch down and bring forth their young. Their labor pains are ended. Their young thrive and grow strong in the wilds. They leave and do not return. Well, I think that is just an incredible passage. Um, there's just so much in terms of learning from the animals. And that's what this whole chapter is about. You know, go consider the, the ant, you sluggard. You know, um, and here, what God is doing is he's saying the goats and the does, the deer, are untouched by human interference, at least in this particular perspective. And he says, do you know when? Because this is about time. So each section of this chapter, God is asking Job to consider some of his questions from the perspective of animals or through the lessons he can learn from animals. And here's this one that, do you know when? See, there's lots of things we don't know. Do I know when Russia's going to invade Ukraine? I think it's happening even now as I speak. Um, but these animals, they thrive and grow strong in the wild. They leave and do not return. They prosper without humanity. And they are dependent on God's ha hand alone. So we're back to this whole question of time. And there is a time of birth and a time of life. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. There's a time for everything. And what Job has done is Job has questioned God and his timing. In chapter 7, he talks about the months of emptiness and the nights of misery. In chapter 14, verse 13, he, he says the set time for vindication has, has never come. And he's basically saying God's timing is, God, is wrong. If only God were the righteous Lord of time. And God says, well, I am. And that's that's the point of this. You know, do you watch when the doe bears her fawn? I grew up on my uh, mother still lives in her home in Port Mahomet. And I remember going to the lighthouse to Bindle Farm up there. I remember sitting with a shepherd and it was done this way. We'd have a Land Rover and we would sit with binoculars and we would watch the sheep beginning to give birth. And as soon as one was in difficulty, we were headed away down in the Land Rover to help them. And that's the image here. The images of waiting, conception, pain, then life and joy. And what God is saying is, if I do this for the deer, then what about human life? It's just as Jesus says, if he does this for the swallow, if he does this for the lily of the field, then what about you? And here's the important thing. The Lord is in charge of the times. At just the right time, he sent Christ. At just the right time, Christ died and, and rose again. He's going to come again at just the right time, the appointed time. And we can say that our times are in his hands. Now, I do feel very frustrated at timing. And I feel that I can fall into the temptation of, of Job and say, but Lord, why, when and why this and why is it taking so long? Let me be a little bit personal and say, you know, we came to Australia to do a particular work and uh, the timing at one level seems all wrong. We had bushfires and then COVID and so many other things. And you can't help but question. But it's really important to remember that God is the Lord of time and his timing is absolutely perfect. And that's for your life as well as mine. 
So God bless you and see you tomorrow and maybe we'll get outside tomorrow. Bye.